author of the descent of air india and a former executive director of air india jitendra bhargav is now joining us to talk more about this this mega deal sir has been announced by the new air india it just goes on to show first up the potential that air india had do you believe that tata group is now finally unleashing the potential of the airline you know we have been talking about india emerging as a major growth center for several years now hmm the unfortunate part was that air india as the national carrier government told did not have the resources so could not augment the fleet mm. and the advantage of indian market was taken by the gulf carriers the southeast asian carriers mm -hmm. and we had all been advocating that we need an indian carrier which must harness the india growth story now you can't have a foreign carrier funneling the indian traffic from various indian cities taking them to their hub and then flying them to destinations in europe united states australia and other countries now when the disinvestment took, took place one was of course the expectation that air india has been given a fresh lease of life but tata within 13 months of takeover have announced a mega deal working out aircraft both for long haul operations 70 of them i'm not basically dividing the aircraft order between airbus and boeing yeah. i'm dividing between narrow body day craft which flies on the domestic sector and mm. the neighboring countries mm. and the long all the europe and united states mm. japan australia etc so 70 of these aircraft is a big number mm. and as we have been told that the first six of the a350 aircraft of airbus will be inducted in the second half of 2023 mm. which means it's not just the huge aggressive network that we are seeing we are also seeing the haste with the which they're doing it the yeah. tatas is attaching to the growth story mm. so the best thing that could have possibly happened to air india first the disinvestment decision that government took mm. and took it to the logical lane notwithstanding the criticism that it had mm. and i am very very forthright in stating that the mega order placed yesterday mm. just goes on to show how much of the potential had remained unexplored because air india was owned by cash starved government of india and i'm not blaming government of india because they have resources which have to be used for education health yeah. infrastructure etc okay can you give me a sense though of you know what this will do for air india as an airline in india and globally and what does this do for the you know the indian uh, market as well for india's position as well You see, when Air India was disinvested in Tata's to cover, they made one statement: mm. "We want to lift the legacy of JRD Tata. We want to give the world a first-class airline." Mm. Now, what I foresee is, or the study, or the work that has gone in in these last twelve months, is basically how do we live that dream? Mm. How do we fulfill the aspirations of the people? You know, so this mega order one, of course, is the domestic sectors, mm. Southeast Asian carriers, the, which have been exploiting the Indian market and the Gulf carriers. So it will be an Indian mark, Indian carrier now doing it. Now, what's the advantage to us? Let's put it this way: when Gulf countries order aircraft on the strength of Indian market, or the Southeast Asian carriers expand their fleet, where is the employment generated? Mm -hmm. Is generated in those countries, the pilot, the cabin crew, and others. Where are the taxes earned? Where do the airports kind of take the long haul, big aircraft traffic, etc.? So it's for us, you know, when you hear Joe Biden hailing the move, mm. President Macron of France hailing the move, Prime Minister Modi himself being present at the Airbus announcement, what does it indicate basically? In a world which is fearing recession, a mega order of this size. generates huge employment opportunities mm. a point underlined underscored by no less a person than joe biden yes. who said a million jobs were spread of 42 states mm. now look at the potential and only tatas could have done it mm. it's not just that they recognize the potential of air india recognize that people in their mind the particularly the older generation the indian diaspora abroad have that emotional connect with air india they had all been feeling look what's happening to air india mm -hmm. and when i wrote my book the descent of air india i brought this factor out 
mm. that people want to fly Air India, but we are not living up to their expectations. And here is Tata's doing just that. And you know, the induction of this huge number of aircraft, mm. if I have to translate is, one, they said about three, four months ago, that we want to capture 30% of the domestic market okay. over a period of five years. Mm. They're on track, mm. they may do so earlier. Mm. In Air India has currently 47 weekly flights, non-stop flights to United States of America to five cities. Mm. There are many cities in the United States. Houston, for example, Boston, Los Angeles, which is not being served. And why should an Indian passenger travel from Bangalore, Hyderabad to Mumbai, Delhi to take a flight to United States? Mm. And he feels particularly that if I have to make a stop, why not make in Abu Dhabi or Dubai? So once you have 70 long haul aircraft being inducted over the next few years, mm. you will have multiple stations from which the flight will originate. So all the gaps that we had, which had remained unfilled, I mm -hmm. would say, are going to be filled up. Okay. So it's a big, big day. It was not just yesterday. The story as it unfolds, everybody would be happy, number one. Number two, this mega order has sent one large signal. It's not just the president of the United States and president of France. Mm. Is that India, as an aviation country, which we have been aiming to be the third largest market, mm. has arrived on the global platform. Okay, okay. And you can't Absolutely. take Indian market lightly. So far, carriers have been exploiting the Indian market, but not giving India the recognition that they deserve. When Tata's own Air India establishes rightful mm. place, people would still care it comes and we can now think of what JRD Tata had been of and what Tata is realizing the pain. Okay. Can I ask you a quick follow-up though? When you talk about especially these long-haul flights, do you believe the prices of that those journeys will also come down? Will they become more affordable when you're flying an Indian carrier? Something like that, a benefit to the end user? You know, this is a question that is often asked on the fares. Mm. Fares are determined by competition. Mm. Fares fluctuate during seasons. And once you have a fairly large quantum of capacity deployment, mm. fares naturally go down because all airlines endeavor to fill up the seats. And competition is not being restricted. Okay. But what do people look forward to? A, safe travel, which will be ensured quality travel, standard of service. We can all look forward to it. There are no compromises as far as Tata owned Air India is concerned because funds is not a constraining factor. Okay, I leave it at that. Everybody is genuinely happy with this deal and certainly it is signaling a rise for Air India and for the Indian industry as well. I thank you Jitendra Bhargav for joining us.